Erica with Harmony Home Medical, and like Harmony Home Medical, I'm here to help. So today I wanted to talk about power chairs. So now let's take a closer look at the portable power chair. This chair is our most popular purchase and rental, and that's because people can put it into their car. So the most important thing about this chair is how it disassembles. But before I do that, I want to show you that it can turn pretty much in its own footprint. So the joysticks are what we call proportional. When you push it a little bit, it goes a little bit. You push it a lot, it goes all the way. So you can control the speed not only through our speed parameter here at the top, from slow to fast or often turtle to rabbit, that's how they indicate it, uh, but you can also control it by putting less pressure on your joystick. When you go to turn, you can use the joystick to turn the chair pretty much on its own footprint. It doesn't turn exactly on its own footprint like a full-size chair because it has rear wheel motors, uh, but it's small enough that the footprint is uh, almost the same. So that is driving the chair, slow, fast, turning around, proportional joystick. Pretty simple. You have a horn, in case anyone needs to get out of your way. And then disassembling it. So we always want to turn the power chair off when we're getting in and getting out. You do not want to have this on and accidentally hit your joystick. So make sure that the power is down. And then to take it apart, we just unplug the, um, the cord from the back of the joystick. It's an easy, quick release. And then we take it out of the housing that holds the cord in line. Just pop those out and move the cord away from the chair because we're going to take the chair off first. Push the chair back down and lift. And it comes off. And it's pretty light. The heaviest piece on, um, on these power chairs are the motors and they're 35 pounds. Then comes the battery. So oh, it's a nice compact, dense box, but it, uh, it's pretty easy to lift. So then we come down to the, uh, the frame of the motors, and I'll spin it around to show you. There is a lever right here that you lift up and disassemble the frame from the motors. And there's all your four pieces. And when they're spread out, they might look like a lot of area, but when you put it in the trunk of your car, it's actually quite small. You can also do things like stack your battery box on your seat. Sometimes in a really small car, I even put it back into the frame. So you can arrange this in your vehicle however you need to make sure that it fits. But I've put this in every kind of vehicle, Mini Coopers to Maseratis. Okay, so I'll put this back together. When you align the frame with the motors, you want to find these little cutouts, these little saddles, and that's where this yellow piece will slide in. So these guys just line up. They're lined up, and then that same lever I had pulled before, I'm going to pull and push down. Makes it lock in place. While I'm back here, I also want to show that this has a freewheel engager. It's, it's, it's hard to see because it's underneath the chair, but all power chairs will have a freewheel or neutral engagement. So you would just push that up and that would make the chair roll on its own. In order for the chair to drive, it always has to be engaged. That tells it to break when you let go of the controller. But if you needed to push it, if the battery were dead, hopefully not, but or if you were in a tight space, you could put it into freewheel to move it. So then we have our battery box, and we put that back in place with the, um, the color up, or if you have a device that doesn't have color, it's usually with the writing down. And that just slides in. And then the seat. And the seat's pretty light and easy to do. But it is good to take a glance and see where our post is and then line it up with the receiver. And that can just kind of be wiggled. It could land anywhere. If you put it on backwards, it can land it over here. That'd be fine. Once it clicks in, you just push that lever and spin it around. 
The chair will spin and lock in place every 15 degrees, so you can stay in your seat if you go eat, or if you need to spin around to get out easier. Now it's really convenient and nice. So that's pretty much it for how we disassemble these guys. Oh, and we want to plug the joystick back in. The last little piece, and then it has you be on your way. A little tip too, if you're somewhere and you're gonna leave your power chair outside, power chairs don't have keys. So if you're concerned about someone maybe turning it on and driving away, if they would wanna get really bad karma, they might do that. But just in case, you can always undo that pigtail and tuck it under the chair. And someone who's not a chair user or familiar with power chairs is not gonna figure that out or take the time. So it could provide a little peace of mind just to unplug it when you go inside somewhere. And that's our portable power chair. It's our most popular powered rental, and it's a really great device to get you into tight spaces at home and lets you go out into the community. So if you or a loved one have a need for any powered device or want to come and learn more, please call us at the number below or come in and see us. <music>